Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will discuss about ChatGPT. I am sure you guys are aware about the ChatGPT by now. It is the newest artificial intelligence and it is incredible. What it can do, how you can use as a developer to get better advice and better code. We'll get code from ChatGPT to write docker file and we'll execute the same in our Ubuntu machine. So let us understand first what is ChatGPT, how to register for ChatGPT, how you can access ChatGPT. The abbreviation of ChatGPT is Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Basically, ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool driven by artificial intelligence technology that allow you to have a human-like conversation and much more with a chatbot. The language model can answer questions and assist you with tasks such as composing email, essay writing, get general information, get code, and lot more things. So ChatGPT is a chat board created by San Francisco based company OpenAI and artificial intelligence and research company. The company launched ChatGPT on 30th November 2022. It's a very recent one. It has a remarkable ability to interact in conversational dialogue form and provide responses within a couple of minutes. It is certainly made a big dash. ChatGPT is a terrible good. Alan Musk, who was one of the founder of OpenAI, said we are not far from dangerously strong artificial intelligence. OpenAI is basically a research company that aims to promote and develop friendly artificial intelligence. Its ambition is to develop safe and open AI tool to empower people. It has mission AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, for the benefit of all humanity. OpenAI is founded in 2015 by Elon Musk and Sam Altman. Elon Musk lived probably on 2018. According to Sam, the OpenAI chief, basically he is the OpenAI chief, he said on Twitter that ChatGPT has more than 1 million users in first 5 days after launching. So here I have mentioned few social networking services that had 1 million user crossed in a very short period of time. Out of that, ChatGPT is the fastest service had crossed 1 million only in 5 days. So you can use it for free. All of you need to register for free OpenAI account. Now how to register for ChatGPT? In order to register for ChatGPT, all you need to sign up for free OpenAI account using your email address. Now how you can access the ChatGPT? You can access the ChatGPT simply by visiting this, uh, this site uh, chat.openai.com and creating an OpenAI account. Once you sign in, you are able to start chatting away with ChatGPT. Get your conversation started by asking a question. You can ask as many questions as you would like. So let's do practical. So how we will do, we will just open a new browser. So go and type chat uh, chat.openai.com okay so it will open this page welcome to chat gpt then uh, if you have uh, user id and password then you just click over here logged in 
otherwise if you are if you are a new then you can sign up and you it will ask you your uh, email email id and then it will verify with your phone and then you can uh, create your user id and password so i have the user id and password so i am just clicking over here login okay So this is the landing page basically. Okay, it's uh, uh, opening the landing page for of ChatGPT. So here we have we are able to see here examples, capabilities, and limitation. So okay, so example is how to how how do I make an HTTP request and uh, in uh, JavaScript and also uh, how do I get code from uh, for uh, docker files and any other files okay so these are the examples so capability is basically allow a user to provide the um, follow-up uh, corrections as and there is also some limitations okay so uh, may uh, it occasionally uh, generate incorrect information so there is a certain some limitation you it's not 100 percent sure that however uh, there is uh, some limitation so it might you might get some uh, incorrect information as well okay so but most of the time yes uh, they will provide the correct information so and this is the basically text okay so here in this text you can uh, write over here anything you can ask any question from here so i am just writing one question and accordingly i will follow it so what i am doing i am just asking how to generate docker file using base image Ubuntu I am using Ubuntu so just I uh, am putting Ubuntu Ubuntu right so just hit the enter let's see what it is uh, saying so all information are gi given step by step and it will also give the code as well yeah so this is the information which uh, it, it, it given okay first what is saying that create a new directory where you will store your docker file and and any other necessary files so whatever the files you want to create suggest he is uh, suggesting that create a directory either you can run the same on the on the root directory as well but he is suggesting that the create a new directory then next step is saying that create a new file that directory on that directory which you have created is called docker file this, this is a basically a docker file named file file of the name so docker file so open the docker file in the text editor or vi editor okay of at your choice you you can choose the nano you can choose the vim i will use the vi vi editor and there i will write a code this whatever the code they have given okay the same code i will use over here okay so let's do that and just check whether we are able to make able to build the, the docker file or not docker image basically he is building the docker image okay so he's just written a simple code over here okay and just uh, building the image name okay so just check whether we are able to do or not so i am in the terminal i think i need to install the docker first so apt get update first i will update iPhone Y.
okay it's updated now and then uh, install the docker apt get install docker I found why it will not ask docker images I think one more thing we need to install so this need to be installed io io file yes yeah so it is installed now so how you can check just uh, docker check docker images it will not show any image over here just column is showing but there is a no images so i will build here as per the instruction given by the uh, chat gpt okay so what he is saying he is first saying that you can make a directory any directory so let's make a directory mkdir docker go inside over navigate over there cd docker okay i have navigated now i am in the docker directory we don't have anything over here okay so i am using the vi editor and just put the writing the docker file okay it is asking to write a docker file so what i will write over here so i am using the ubuntu base image okay just simple code here it is written so base image either we can choose ubuntu latest or here some uh, version is also mentioned over here to use ubuntu 20.4 you can use this as well next you can add the additional instruction you need to set your container for example you might install the package or set the environment variable so whatever it is if you want to install this update on uh, apt install curl or http whatever you want to install next you can install it or you can simply write over the this as well and just uh, uh, build this one so it will fetch from here and it will build the image name okay so just copy it and uh, write the file vi editor okay and uh, yeah so that's fine then we save it okay so just build this one this dot is mandatory because i am in the current directory and my file is in the docker directory it's a directory name my file is here this docker file is here so i don't need to put the path over here if this command you are executing from somewhere else then you need to specify the path from where it need to be executed where is your docker file basically okay so i am on the same directory so i don't need to put the path so this means you are on the current directory and the image name is my image okay let's put the proper name of the image name zafar image right so just build it yeah so we don't had that to, uh, any images so now just check whether images are there or not docker images so now we have created okay one is by default it is created because this is the base image which i have taken from ubuntu and this is the latest one by default they are picking the latest one but this one i have built i have built this image and 
it is created 16 seconds ago so through i mean uh, whatever the code they have given is the correct one i am able to create uh, the directory and i am able to uh, run the um, image so image is formed now so further step you can either you can also tag it and you can push into the github as well so i have the github account so you can push over G github as well okay I mean you can push your image into the github so uh, previously i have pushed here so the same is same type of image okay so now we are able to do by uh, asking the code from chat gpt okay so you can ask any questions for example another example i am giving just i am asking list the top it companies in india list the top IT companies in India it will show and it will given it will give the list of IT's company top 10 IT's company so here it is Okay, so the first one is the TCS, Infosys, Wipro, SCL, and then Tech Mahindra is my company, Larson, and Tobel, LNT, and uh, Mid, uh, Mindry, and Emphasis. So all those uh, companies, top 10 companies are listed. So whatever you are asking, it will give the answer perfectly. Okay, you can also do the math activity as well. For example, I am just giving, if... A is equal to 35 B is equal to 45 and C is equal to 50. A into B okay then what is the value of C let's see it can calculate or not step by step it will calculate and it will give the answer multiplying he is multiplying he understood that what he is asking basically so it is multiplying right yeah so this is this is the correct value okay so uh, basically you can ask any type of question in the chat gpt okay and you will get the complete answer correct answer so basically chatbot is backed by open ai artificial intelligence which is, is still in research is research stage but is this already actively used not only for for scientific but also for commercial purpose the bot was created based on the artificial intelligence and machine learning okay so this is the overall of chat gpt we will meet again with the new video thanks for watching if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button please.